Today we are reviewing Neighbors. I can physically hold it up. Isn't that just amazing? Um, physically able to hold it up with the glare and everything. Um, so Neighbors. Um, this movie I have seen about, I think this was, I watched it uh, halfway through last night and I finished it this morning. Uh, I think that was my third time watching it. Um, not that I intended to watch it that many times. It could be the fourth time. I don't know. Um, and hopefully it will probably be the last time. Um, Neighbors came out in, what, what was it, like 2014, 2013, something like that. And it has since gotten a sequel. And for those who don't know, uh, it is a movie about Seth Rogen. It's a Seth Rogen type comedy. And he is becoming an adult. He's moving in, going on with his life. And then we got the uh, new kid on the block. There's a frat party, or just frat house, that is living next door. They're level 10 crazy. And he's trying to raise a family. And so is his wife. And they can't be doing that with this crazy kid next door. Zac Efron and Dave Franco and McLovin and yeah it's it's not a, a bad movie by any means but um god I should not some movies just can't be watched that many times like some of the best jokes in this movie like the Robert De Niro party uh that just that just uh didn't hit this time um so but you know this it there's actually some weird crazy visuals in here like when they were like at this party and you know Zac Efron he's moving like through the crowd there's a bunch of like little crazy edits that they kept doing and I thought that was really interesting um we had Hannibal Burris make a cameo worst cop in the world um not realistic at all that was complete bullshit but you know when he was just like oh I love fucking with you and your high man uh that's kind of Hannibal Burris that I really enjoy um, as for, you know, some of the other performances, it's kind of your usual, what you would expect from Zac Efron and Seth Rogen. Um, I, th I, I forget, this is a big movie for Zac Efron that kind of won him back for a lot of people. Uh, he, that kind of moved him away from a crowd for from a mainstream perspective. Um, some of the jokes in this movie kind of flop. Um, for instance, uh, watching this time around, that there's this joke that one of the uh, dudes has a big dick. Uh, that's this huge joke. Um, I thought that was bad. Their friends uh, are a big part of this movie. They're kind of bad. Uh, they're kind of cringy. Uh, there's this one scene that involves breast milk. And let's just say that is terrible. Um, other than that, there's a lot of really good jokes. Uh, uh, this There's this... Uh, there's this one line that I really laughed this time around where he was like, you guys shaved? Uh, <laughs> uh, and he was like, oh, I had to get hard. Like, um, uh, for, for those who watched the movie, I'm talking about the scene where they uh, made dildos out of their dicks. It's one of those type of comedies, so if you get grossed out by uh, immature shit like that, then this is not your movie. Um, one thing I will say is, what was I going to say? I completely just blanked out right now. Oh, I, I enjoyed kind of like the message where, um, Seth Rogen, obviously, um, he is becoming an adult and, you know, that's something I can relate to. He's growing a family and, you know, Zac Efron at the end of the day, he's like, oh, I should have studied more. Like, not that the fraternity stuff, lit, like, this is obviously important to you. Um, not, it didn't disregard that, but it also said, but make sure you look at what's out there. Um, pretty simple message, but it hit home. Another of the couple jokes I really liked, uh, I, I enjoyed the Batman joke. Uh, that was the whole fight sequence. Um, that was great. Uh... And I enjoyed the little outro with the baby. That was also really great. Um, other than that, 
Oh, and the uh, hazing scandal, that whole segment with ass juice. That was all great, amazing. I loved all of that. Um, I loved that little scene where he, um, it was a very Scooby-Doo scene, and he was even like, uh, where he tried to distract one of the kids, and it was very Scooby-Doo-esque, and he was like, scat, or, uh, Scooby, Shaggy, Jizz Face, let's investigate. Uh, that was a great line. Uh, that's what these movies are kind of held on, just these, um, bowls out jokes that are, uh, just blatant and obvious, and, you know, they work for what they are. Uh, as far as Seth Rogen's movies go, this is, uh, not even top five, so, at least for me personally. So, like, it's a good movie, but I wouldn't uh, consider it his best. A lot of his, uh, like, it's kind of like in the vein of the interview and that kind of stuff. Um, it's from that kind of uh, bag. Um, not that it's a bad movie, really enjoyed it. Um, some of the jokes fall flat, and uh, I haven't seen the sequel yet, though, so I'm excited to see that. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to watch it, but I will hopefully review it. And I have one less movie on my goddamn shelf, and I can get rid of it now. Ugh. Anyway, uh, that's my thoughts on Neighbors. Uh, thank you for watching, and with that... I leave you.